touching basketball. Maybe you think it hurts the ball every time they bounce it on the floor. Yes, you're a widow, but still, we have just the tournament for you. I'd like to introduce The Daily Show's Trump's Best Word Bracket. You see, you see, President Trump has the best words. And how do we know this? Because he told us. I know words, I have the best words. I, you know, I went to an Ivy League college. I know a lot of words. I have like this incredible vocabulary. I guarantee I have a vocabulary better than all of them. Believe it or not, I watch my words very carefully. There are those that think I'm a very stable genius. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Trump may be bad at disease control, immigration, domestic policy, and literally everything else, but when it comes to words, he truly is the best. So for March, just for March, we're hosting a tournament to pick his best, best word. Because let me tell you, he's got a lot of them. In 1870, President Ulysses S. Grant, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, he was awarded the Bronze Star and the Combat Infantry Band Badge, Heart, Lung, and Liver Transplants. We're going to see some statistics, statistics coming out by an anonymous brilliant, anonymous. You know, we just had another sun drop. I hope they now go and take a look at the oranges, or the oranges of the uh, uh, investigation, the beginnings. Expectations in the House for the midterm and midterm year. And God bless the United States. Thank you very much. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I've, I've never heard better words. That clip makes me proud to live in the United States. <laughs> and I know a lot, of, a lot of what happened there had the haters going, oh, does Trump have dentures? Was his mouth dry? Did Russia attack his tongue? No. <laughs> Trump just came up with a better word for the country, and he used it. Because our president has the best words, and thank God he does. You see, with so much uncertainty in the world, the volatility of the schlock rocket, all the negative climate statistics and so many Americans waiting for organ transplants it's comforting to know that we have a president who comes from a higher place unlike the rest of us who come from humble oranges and I could play I could play clips of Trump all day saying Trumpy words but I'm not gonna do that okay I am gonna do that Declaring your whole state to be a stink sailor for criminal wave, all applicable state taxes. Made a pivotal, really, and I mean this was pivotal. A lot of work has been done, a lot of renovation. If you look at some of it, shield and shelter, criminal. Look, look, look. Heroin alone, if you look at the heroin epidemic, Venezuela's, by Venezuela's, so Venezuela's. As Hurricane Irma approaches, in April of 2014, these historic accomplishments shades working to improve this country and you deserve the government. And then they announced there were snowballs now. See that? Trump is so great at words, he doesn't even need to open his mouth to say that. And by the way, I want to take a second to congratulate our graphics department for fitting that word on the screen. Yeah. Three, three of our designers died in the attempt, but it was worth it. And of course, who can forget the devastation of Hurricane Irma? So many herms were destroyed. Sorry, guys, I didn't mean to be a Burmer. So what is Trump's best word? Well, there are 64 for you to choose from, and we've put them together in a bracket. All you can do is pick the best noun, adjective, or whatever you like. Just go to dailyshowbracket.com, and there you can watch every video of the clips and every word. And you let us know which ones you think are the best. Round one is open now, so please go and start picking. Because Donald Trump has done many great things, but the words he gives us will live on as his most important accomplishment change. We'll be right back.